Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you had a very, very good week. Today's Monday, the first day of the seventh week of this term, but this video is regarding my thoughts and challenges during week six. As you can imagine, one of the reasons I'm recording today for week six is because I was extremely busy during week six. The amount of schoolwork has definitely picked up and it has me a little bit stressed out, but I think everything will be okay. For week six for my HIM management and leadership class, we had quite a bit of reading, just like always. This class really has a lot of assigned reading to complete every week. This class definitely has been the most challenging in the way that the amount of reading takes up a lot of my time during the week. It normally takes me about two days to complete. I usually focus on reading for this particular class on Mondays and Tuesdays because by Wednesday, I have have to post to the week's discussion. And for the week's discussion, I need to reference my reading for that particular week. Monday and Tuesday are very, very heavy on reading. But as I mentioned earlier, week six wasn't any different than any other week. We had four chapters of the smaller textbook that I've showed previously. And we also had one chapter to read from the big HIM textbook by Ahima. Overall, I think it was about 150 pages for the six week for just the management and leadership class. In addition to the reading, we had the week's discussion, which was on teams. And we had an additional assignment to complete on budgeting. The budgeting assignment I had already completed as part of my associate's degree program in health information technology. Overall for the HIM management and leadership class, most of my time was spent on reading. We had a break from the course project during the six week, but we had that additional budgeting assignment to complete. For this class, the subjects for the six week consisted of budgeting, team building, and layoffs. So we really did have a nice diverse set of subjects to read about, which made the reading interesting and not so dull. In regards to my HIM practicum class, I spent most of my time this week working on my HIM practicum class, which is also the, my internship class. For the the sixth week we had to complete some reading as well and we focus on the last domain of the RHIA exam which is management and leadership which ties back to my other HIM class I am currently taking so it was kind of nice to have that overlap the reading was not completely new because as I said, some of the reading was actually the same reading I had already done for my other class. For my internship class, I also had an additional assignment to complete based on management principles. The assignment consisted of five managerial case scenarios where we had to write out a response on how we would approach the managerial case and we were required to write a paragraph response on each one of the cases and use our textbook and our readings for this week as a reference on how we would go about handling the management cases. To be honest, this six week, the workload was not too heavy. I was able to finish my workload for both classes for the six week by Saturday. But what has kept me busy and delayed the filming of this video for the six week of the term was my internship project that I started working on Friday. I will say that I began working on this project a little late. I think I mentioned during last week's video that my professor, who's also my facilitator for my internship, told me she was going to send me the documents she wanted me to review by Monday, I believe, because Monday we met on Zoom and we talked about what she wanted me to do and she said she would follow up with the documents she wanted me to review and put in a spreadsheet for her. I didn't get the documents she wanted me to review during the week so on Friday I emailed her and I asked her to please send me the documents but by Friday she had set up an automated email reply saying that she would be out of the office because of the holiday she was going to be out of the office on Friday and Monday so I didn't get the documents that she wanted me to review till 
the following Monday, which usually on Mondays, I focus on my HIM management and leadership class. And I didn't actually start reviewing the documents for my internship until last Friday. And I spent Friday reviewing the documents and working on the project she wanted me to complete. I did have a couple questions. So I started sending emails to her and asking for clarification on a few things. And she was really good about responding. So I was able to move along with the project on Friday and then I worked on it again on Saturday and by Saturday night almost by midnight on Saturday I was almost completely done so I was like at a good stopping point on Sunday I needed to email her a few more questions and just get myself together for the seventh week of this class because during the seventh week of the class is when my project for my internship is due and along with my project there are other documents that I needed to get going because they are due during the seventh week of school. Those documents included a student evaluation form and a facilitator evaluation form that I needed to put together and send to my facilitator who's also my instructor, hoping that I'll have all those documents back by the time I have to turn them in this week, along with doing the last touches on my project and turning it in during the seventh week. She also had another project for me to do, which was project number two. She prioritized project number one for me to complete for my internship and project number two was optional. I was more interested in project number two than project number one but I understood that my priority was to finish project number one. So I really still want to do project number two. I am not sure if I will end up working on it. I did ask her if I could work on project number two and just try to do as much as I could but there is the possibility that I might not be able to complete it by the end of this term. I did ask her if I would be able to begin project two and if it would be okay for me to work on project two and not complete it before the end of the term. And she said, yeah, it was okay if I wanted to continue working on project number two and if it was incomplete by the end of the term, she would be okay with it. And I also asked her if I could work on project number two and if I don't finish it by the end of the term, if I could work on it during the spring semester. And she said that was completely fine too. One of the reasons I do want to complete project two is because during my capstone class next term, we will focus on one of the projects we completed during our internship and we will evolve on that project. And as I said, project number two for me is more interesting than project number one. <laughs> so I do want to have that option of selecting the project that I am more excited about once I find the details about the capstone project associated with the project that we completed completed in our internship. As of now, I really don't know if I will begin project number two and if I will be okay with working on project number two during my week off. As I stated earlier, today is Monday, which is the first day of the seventh week of school of term one of spring 2022, which means that this term is almost over. I have this week to complete and then I have finals week, which is the eighth week. And then following finals week, we have a week off, which is our spring break. I am excited to complete this term. It has gone by fairly quickly and it has not been as demanding as other terms I have completed in the past. Well, I want to thank you so much for watching and for following me during my journey during this first term of spring 2022. And I am looking forward to week seven of this term. I know this week is going to be pretty busy as well. I have to focus on completing everything that has to do with my internship this week for my internship class and in my HIM management and leadership class there's quite a bit of reading like always to complete and we have the last part of our course project to complete as well as a presentation that I need to put together. That is it for this video. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Bye!